My guest tonight, of course, a very talented actor who played Schmidt on New Girl. He can currently be seen starring in The Neighborhood on CBS and the movie Promising Young Woman, uh, which is in theaters and on demand, and it is absolutely amazing. Uh, let's take a look. I just thought that you were... Drunk? Yeah. Really drunk? Yeah. Well, I'm not. But that's good, isn't it? I think you should leave. Oh. Now you want me to leave? No, I just... I'm really high. Like, I'm really high right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I think you should go. But a second ago, you were determined for me to stay. You were pretty insistent, actually. I'm a nice guy. Are you? I thought we had a connection, I guess. A connection? Okay. What do I do for a living? Sorry, maybe that one's too hard. How old am I? How long have I lived in the city? What are my hobbies? What's my name? Okay, I'm a little confused. Max Greenfield is here. Max, that was Christopher Mintz Platts. That's, you're not in that clip. No, no, I just, I'm very supportive of his work. <laughs> and, um, and I insisted that you guys showcase it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because I've seen this movie. Uh, this is a terrific and powerful film. Yeah. You are in this film, as is Chris Freeman's Platts, uh, and I'm glad that you're a fan. <laughs> but... Well, you know, I... I mean, let's talk about Chris's turn on this film. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what you do? You just like to go on and, you know, Paul Rudd does this too. He comes on my show and he shows a clip that's not his and has been no, doing I that know, to me. Paul shows it from a totally different film. I know, but I love that you've taken a new turn on it, which is I'll show a clip from the movie I'm in, just it won't have me in the clip. That's it. Well, it's, it's just how unselfish I am, Conan. Wow. Um, I've always heard that about you. Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm known for. And now I've just, I'm taking it, I'm stepping it up a notch. Wow. And, uh, you know, if I'm ever in something, I just, I want to showcase the other people. Right. You know, I'm sure he's thrilled. I'm sure he's thrilled that they're out there pushing. Him, we're, so. all, we're all thrilled to watch him. <laughs> Where are uh, you right now? Are you, obviously we're, I'm in an abandoned theater. You are in your home. Beautiful painting behind you. Thank you. This is the lo a lovely artist, a friend of ours, John Brown. Um, uh -huh. He's the king. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we. I am in my home. Mm -hmm. uh, I should tell you now that at any moment, a dog or a child could interrupt our conversation. Or if you hear noises, that's just what. It right. Is. It's okay. I've been dealing with that, and uh, and we welcome it. Sometimes it's delightful and kind of cute, and sometimes it's just. You know, sometimes when someone says my son may interrupt, it's cute when it's like a three or four year old when it's a 32 year old son who never <laughs> <laughs> who never moved out of the house. It just gets sad. But it's also been 10 months of this and I think we're <laughs> past the cute point. I think we are.